Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be describing the uh, differences in the etiology, clinical features and management of uh, antroquinal polyp and ethmoidal polyps. So we know that there are two types of polyps in the nose and we'll see in this video what are the differences uh, in these polyps. So antroquinal polyp, it is also called Killian's polyp and the age of affection so antroquinal polyp is seen in children at a younger age while ethmoidal polyp is generally uh, common in adults. Then etiology, antroquinal polyp they are infective in origin and sometimes inflammation also and uh, ethmoidal polyps usually they are allergic in origin and also they are part of uh, some other conditions like uh, asthma, aspirin insensitivity, young syndrome, Carter Jenner syndrome immotile cilia syndrome so in all these uh, diseases there is some problem in the ciliary movement so uh, that may be the etiological factor for ethmoidal polyp and it is allergic then antroconal polyps are single while ethmoidal polyps they are multiple the antroconal polyps they are unilateral most of the times and uh, ethmoidal polyps they are bilateral the antroconal polyps they originate from the maxillary sinus while the ethmoidal polyps they originate from the ethmoidal layer cells or the ethmoid labyrinth the antroconal polyps they grow posteriorly so in the later stages they may be seen uh, coming from the nasopharynx so through the oral cavity when we examine we can see a globular mass coming from the nasopharynx because AC polyps they grow posteriorly while ethmoidal polyps they grow anteriorly towards the anterior nares so they can be seen on anterior rhinoscopy also but sometimes the antroconal polyps may be missed on anterior rhinoscopy then the shape of the polyps the antroconal polyps generally they are uh, trilobe they have three different parts one is the antral part which is present in the maxillary antrum it is a thin stalk like then coenal part that grows posteriorly into the coena it is round and globular and the nasal part which is present in the nose so it is flat part while ethmoidal polyps they are multiple small round grape like masses the symptoms the antroconal polyp generally has unilateral nasal obstruction but when it grows posteriorly to involve the nasopharynx then the patients they complain of bilateral nasal obstructions in later stages while ethmoidal polyps since they are present in both sides so they have they cause bilateral nasal obstruction then recurrence so once removed there are very less chances that antroconal polyp will recur but uh, since ethmoidal polyps they are allergic in origin so they have a high uh, recurrence rate even after surgery the treatment the initial initially uh, caldwell lux surgery was done for antroconal polyps where the maxilla was opened from the anterior wall but nowadays with the advent of the endoscopes functional endoscopic sinus surgery is the treatment of choice for antroconal polyps while for ethmoidal polyps uh, initial medical management is done in the form of the steroids so steroids are the drug of choice for uh, ethmoidal polyps and if the patient is not responding to the medical management then again functional endoscopic sinus surgery is done for ethmoidal polyps also so these are the differences between antroconal and ethmoidal nasal polyps thank you